Kenneth Russell with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And what I have here behind me is called Science on a Sphere. NOAA developed this as an education and outreach tool to show people all of the work that we're doing. Now, we're uh, the ocean and atmosphere folks. So here's a picture of our oceans. What we're looking at here is a model of sea, uh, sea currents, looking at the speed of our ocean and how it moves through time. So that's something really important for us to understand as our oceans are changing. We can also look at the weather and see how our atmosphere is reacting. This is a satellite loop. It starts a month ago, goes up until today, so we can give you a weather forecast, show you exactly what's been happening recently. Now, one of the reasons we're here at supercomputing is that we rely heavily on our supercomputers for atmospheric modeling and climate modeling. So here's an example of a climate model. It starts in 1870. It runs through 2100 to show us how we think climate is likely to change through time um, based on rising carbon dioxide levels. So this is uh, put together by one of our labs and we are using it to help us understand what's going on, which is one of the big missions for NOAA is protecting our oceans and atmosphere and helping people understand what's going on. So if you're interested more, make sure to stop by the NOAA lab, check out the Science on Sphere presentations that we have going on every hour.